Once the Values Voter Summit is over, I'm staging William Temple's assault on Washington, D.C. from all directions at once. Do you think we're in a revolutionary situation? Oh, yes. I cannot say that we can take two more years of runaway government. 17 trillion in debt is going to become 22 trillion in debt. And so we have to, to go back, reclaim the limits on the federal government that the Constitution laid down. That's why the Tea Party is not a right-wing group. It is the center. The Constitution is the center of our government. Anything that's too far to the right of it is tyranny, which is what we're seeing now. Anything too far to the left of it is anarchy. Or actually, it's the opposite. <laughs> but so the center of the government is the limits of the federal government by the Constitution. The Tea Party formed actually in the last months of Bush's uh, with 13, 13 trillion in debt. The reaction to it was not because of Bush or because of Obama. The reaction was to the runaway spending. And the, the 13 trillion, which is going, we can't maintain, uh, is now 17 trillion. And, and Obama's added more to the national debt than all the presidents combined. Even so, 2 trillion, 3 trillion of debt is, is something that the nation cannot continue to do. All of the, it, the grabbing of power by the federal government that's gone on for 60 years is in violation to the Constitution, which left all of that in the hands of the states and the people. The Constitution pre prevents the federal government from having anything to do with education, anything to do with, uh, with uh, 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 labor, with uh, uh, health care, uh, and we're, we keep building it. It's a monster. The federal government's become a monster, and now it's the enemy.